Throughout the past couple of years of my crazy life, I've realized that getting into sports debates with people really is kind of a waste of time. So often we compare other players from different generations and see who's the better overall athlete, who's the better overall player. And I was one of those people that participated in those debates. I thought that there were certain other players that were better than others in particular generations. As I get older, I realized that Doing all that stuff really is a waste of time. We do all these comparisons, all this toxicity on social media about who's better, who's washed, who's this, who's that, and all this time I'm thinking to myself, WHO CARES?! We just appreciate people, they're here now, okay, you know, people like, I don't know, LeBron James and Michael Jordan, for example, it's like, I'm so sick and tired of comparison, it's like, they're both great players, okay, stop. You know, just relax. It's 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 really not that serious, okay? Trust me, there's there's a lot more things that we need to be discussing about rather than who's a greater sports player. I mean, there's a lot more important things in the world than sports. Even though I'm a huge sports fan. Like, I use that to escape from the realities of life. But, like, it's just kind of like you have to appreciate greatness when you see it right in front of you. Even at a young age, I came across this video of LeBron James in the 2003 Powerade Jam Fest, back when ESPN used to be creative and actually appeal to street ball and stuff like that. Man, the 2000, mid-2000s from 2003 to 2006 was just a wild time in sports. Even though the outcome is predictable, we're still gonna watch this anyway, because watching young high school LeBron, I... <laughs> I remember watching some of that stuff in high school, and I remember, well not when I was in high school, I was like in grade school, but he was in high school at this point. I remember there was one, I think it was either this video or some other video he was in, but there was one particular moment where I knew, yep, this guy's gonna be something special. And we're gonna relive that memory and watch a little bit of Lee Bizzle for Shizzle, my nizzle off the hizzle. Drizzle. Alright. Let's get on with it. LeBron James is about to dunk against the best of the best in high school hoops. This dude had earrings in but this mullet's a dunk contest. It all began in 1987 with the likes of Larry Johnson and through <laughs> Dude did a freaking cartwheel. I, I was watching a little bit of this at the beginning. I was like, yeah, I gotta do a reaction to this. Oh my goodness. Kobe. Kobe. R.I.P. Even Vincenity. Insanity, my in high school. Oh my lord, Jesus! Man, and those were in games. <laughs> Can you imagine what he's gonna do? He's gonna back football or car. He doesn't do that in this video, but that would have been that would have broke the internet if they had internet back then, which they did, but not not to the extent of what it is now. And oh man. ESPN2 basketball. You're never gonna see LeBron James on ESPN2 unless it's for like something like crazy, but man. ESPN used to have all these great things, and now look at them. Just. And it's in Cleveland too, so you already know the hometown hero is about to win. Spent a lot of years in the NBA getting dunked on by some of the best of all time. We're going to show you some great dunks tonight by these All Americans. We have the two ball competition and we have the three point shooting competition as well. Yeah, so nobody cares about any of that nonsense. We came here to see some dunks. And look at, yo, look at these outfits that people used to wear with the backwards caps. Oh my god. Now, it's funny you ask because everybody been asking me, and I'm just going to go off the top of the head. Whatever comes to me, you know, before I'm about to do my performance, you know, that's what I'm going to use. But I don't have nothing stripped out. I'm just going to go up the top of the head freestyle. Uh, I saw you talking with Darius Miles just a few LeBron's minutes ago. LeBron's voice uh, almost, like, know, literally you know, hasn't like, even changed. He almost still, like, kind of sounds the same. Miles is real cool, so we were just talking. He said that every dunk I was going to do it, even if I did between the legs behind my back, he's going to give me a two. So that was kind of funny, you know. But, you know, it's just all fun. We just have to have fun here. He a hater. I'm trying to enjoy this. The man is ready. All right. Right number 32 for some odd reason. Yeah, I'm 
Six feet eight inches tall, my goodness. Look at these outfits that people were wearing in the background. Oh my goodness. 20 years ago. Let's bring that back. Why not? Make more fashion statements. Uh-oh. Very basic, but you know, it's... They, they really gave that to... I know they're in high school, but like... I don't know. No, Vince Carter could jump out the gym. LeBron's, you know, I, I, I did say like, although that was a nice dunk, you know, it's like, although yeah, Vince Carter definitely would jump out the gym. Can you imagine young LeBron James in high school versus Vince Carter in a dunk contest? No, LeBron doesn't do any dunk contest, but still. Let's see here. Six foot eight, two forty, man child. Is absolutely a ridiculous. I don't think I've ever heard people compare LeBron James as a man child before, but ooh, guess there's a first for everything. Is that Michael Vick? You know what though? So smart. I swear to God, I thought I just saw Michael Vick. I guess they're just doing like warm up dunks now. I'm, I'm not really sure how this dunk contest works. Yeah, I, I like it. Basically, you just put on a show and do a bunch of dunks. So I've seen a lot of these. There you go. We've done these a bunch of years, but I mean, so fluid, smooth, powerful, graceful. I mean, I'm pretty sure I see LeBron James's mom in the background. Yep, there she is. Here's Shannon Brown who'll get us started here in the finals of the Man, Ain't contest. nobody one came one here to see no damn Brown. Shannon Brown. Yeah, Look at this dude. Looking like the guy from That's So Raven. Orlando Brown, Brown, I think his name was. As well. Oh! Wow. Well, <laughs> well, that's why you never made the NBA, because you missed that dunk. Higher field goal percentage in the three point contest. Then in the dunk contest. That's right. Now you get some style points here, but it still counts as a big zero. Which is kind of dumb. Should probably give him like an A or a B for effort. Here we go. Oh! I like the thought process there. Well, he's pretty much done for the evening. Why does he have more creative? Let me not say, because. I was going to say, his creativity is a little bit more up there than little bronze is. He's going for windmills. Do like crazy stuff. So you only get like three tries or something? Oh god, I have to go. Oh no. I admire the confidence. Especially after you miss the first couple dunks. Oh. Wait. Oh, he's, he's going to go all the way from the locker room, I guess. What is going on here? Oh, no. Oh, dear God. Ooh, oh, okay. All right. Not necessarily from the free throw line, but that was, uh, that was nice. I dig it. I dig it. Yeah, that's definitely Michael Vick. Oh my goodness. He was actually judging this dunk contest. That's wild. It's one thing to do the Irving dunk taking off, but to do a 360 smile halfway. Oh, yeah. All right. He redeemed himself. After those two, <laughs> the ball hit the guy. <laughs> Should have been standing there. Right, let's see what Shannon Brown's got up next. In a high school gym, nonetheless. This is wild. Ooh, okay. A little switch of the hands. Not too shabby. Well, after, like, the first two ones, like, you had to go for, like, a somewhat safe dunk, so... It was, it was, it was all right. Whatever happened to Shannon Brown? Somehow he's in the finals, I guess. I don't know how they're judging this. Welcome back, everybody. We're in Cleveland for the Powerade Jam Fest on the campus of Cleveland State. 
In the midst of the dunk competition, Bob Wafer with 246 is your leader. Shannon Brown is second, and LeBron James is What the next. heck is so the, the Con the Wafer? Before the competition, you didn't have anything planned. You're just kind of wing it. You've had a lot of time to think about it. You got some premeditated options right now? Well, you know, I'm a dunker that really doesn't think about what I'm going to do. You know, I just go out there and. Happens, Look at these man. numbers he was pulling off in high school. Oh my goodness. That's insane. Look at that old ass TV that they have right there on the bottom left corner of your screen. Oh my goodness. Oh, sign of the times. Oh. He's got a little in the club going. Okay. Okay. Hey. 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 All right. That song was hot at this time. Mm. LeBron. LeBron's been doing that his entire NBA career, though. But back then, this was like the first time seeing someone do a windmill like that. I was like. Imagine that, Dave. A 14 year old dunking on his math teacher. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be that math teacher. Probably carried the sentiments of a lot of his classmates. Oh, it, it's over now. What, once in the club gets going, yeah, it's over. It's over. Oh, he's telling people to back up a little bit. What is he going to do here? Let's still bring back the McDonald's All Star game. I don't know if they still do that. Mm. He had he had really nice elevation. Look at this, all the way up there. Mm. Yeah, he's also smart with this dunk contest. Get the points. Look at his head. Look at that. Oh man. This is the moment he probably won when in yeah in the close playing yeah it's all right let's see what he's got here yes okay that's you know what I remember this now okay right here. This was the moment where I said, yep, LeBron James is going to be a star. Like, he did, he made the shot. Like, he probably didn't even mean to do that. That's crazy. Oh, no. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and the way he waited for it to get that in, that was... He doesn't need to put up huge numbers. A little nice windmill reverse here. Oh, wow. That was kind of clean. Double clutch it without the ball in his hand. And then had to come back and grab it to dunk it. I'm just waiting for him to do the, the windmill where he cocks it all the way back and just... The you know, the thing that he's been doing his entire career. Currently first place into the shock of no one. Well, he's already, he's not even, Yo, who is this dude? J.R. Giddens, who? Look at him. My goodness. Yeah, JR actually has a broken fifth metatarsal on his left foot. Whoa! Whoa! Wait! 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 If he would have nailed that, I would have flipped this chair over. I, I actually shouldn't flip this chair over because I just got this for Christmas, so I don't want to ruin it. This guy's got some hops here. Okay, let's see what he's got. Ooh! That looks nice what he's doing. This this looks like what LeBron does almost. Stylistically, I like it. Didn't complete it, but again, the hand back. The fun thing about these guys, though, all right. Freshman next year. I mean, now I guess you got to come up with something different here, right? In the field of dunk, they all watch the NBA dunk contest. They tape it. They study and they talk about different stuff they can create. 
What's this? Man, all right, you, you gotta come up with something different here, man. Oh, oh no, he might hurt himself too. Yeah, you, you're gonna hurt yourself doing that. So I guess you get three attempts and then you go on to a different dunk? I wish a dunk contest would do more of these, you know? Just like... Because I know no one really does. There's not really many original dunks unless someone like jumps off the top of the backboard and does like a 6.30 splash or something like that. But yeah, I guess uh, yeah, he can't do it. He, he tried though. A for effort. I think that's he definitely had something broken. LeBron James is your winner. Oh, that's it. Oh. Well, that was anticlimactic.